Hi, and welcome to another edition of Cliff's Corner. Now, today's episode deals with the Marmaduke Walker duel, which took place just outside Little Rock. Now, I'm coming to you from Helena because this is where the disagreement between the two men actually began at on July 4th, 1863, at the Battle of Helena. So I hope you enjoy this Cliff's Corner. On September 6th, 1863, Confederate Brigadier Generals John S. Marmaduke and Lucius M. Walker participated in one of the most famous duels during the American Civil War. It took place about seven miles from Little Rock and resulted in the death of one of these men. John S. Marmaduke was from Missouri and a graduate of West Point who had served in the military before the war. Lucius Walker lived in St. Francis County, Arkansas, and was a nephew of President James K. Polk. He had also graduated from West Point. It was at the Battle of Helena on July 4, 1863, that the two parties began to differ. General Marmaduke blamed Walker for not coming to his assistance during the battle. This difference would lead to anger, which reemerged on September 2, after the Battle of Reed's Bridge during the campaign for Little Rock. General Price had ordered Marmaduke in August to join forces with Walker at Brownsville. Since Walker was senior in appointment, he took command of the cavalry. That also angered Marmaduke. On August 27th, Federal and Confederate forces clashed around Reed's Bridge. Although the rebels delayed the Federal advance, they were ordered to withdraw back closer to Little Rock. It was then that a series of messages went back and forth between the two men and their aides. In one message, Walker accused Marmaduke of saying he was a coward. In another, Marmaduke said he would no longer serve under an officer like Walker. Their aides, John C. Moore and Colonel Robert H. Crockett, then got involved. Crockett challenged Marmaduke on Walker's behalf without talking to Walker first. Moore accepted the challenge on behalf of Marmaduke. They then set the terms of the duel without either one of the contestants there. General Price attempted to stop the duel by ordering the two men to stay at their post, but Walker didn't receive the message, and Marmaduke ignored it. The duel was on. The two generals and their aides met at a nearby plantation on September 6, 1863. At 15 paces, both fired and missed. On the second shot, Marmaduke fatally wounded Walker, who would die the next day in Little Rock. Although arrested by Price, Marmaduke was never tried for murder and would eventually return to the Army and be promoted to Major General. After the war, he would serve as Governor of Missouri. Before Walker died, he learned of the birth of his son. He is buried in Memphis. Thus ended the strange duel between two generals during the Civil War.